The is the first word of this verse. So a T is placed by the ground at the bottom representing the earth. To remember the first words of this verse is the earth. With her bars are the sea weeds made into two shapes. And was about me is the man made in the shape of a two for Jonah in the big fish with the seaweeds about Jonah. You can think of the seaweeds as going on forever. Jonah was only in the belly of the fish three days. So now we see forever can be that it feels like a really long time. So according to the Bible, Everlasting fire, or fire that lasts forever, can be fire that lasts till life is over, or for as long as a person is alive, which is pretty much the same, or that it would seem like it is happening to that person forever, because of its drudgery and how hard it is to go through. Webster's Dictionary says, ever means without intermission. So in the everlasting fire, they will not get a break from the torment of the fire. So it can seem like it is forever or eternity. We have to look at the Bible and see precept upon precept and line upon line to see what kind of fire is hellfire. If it would eventually end or go on and on through the ages of eternity. And when we do this, we find that life, whether a life of bliss or or a life of burning and pain is not one of the choices for the people who do evil. We have memorized in Deuteronomy 30, Romans 6, and Revelation 20, and there are many more, all say the disobedient and wicked get death and sleep forever with no kind of life. The example in Luke 23 of Jesus telling the thief on the cross, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise, illustrates how we can use terms that relate to how it feels. Just like Saul understood the state of the dead, that the people are sleeping in the grave till the great last day, Martha knew about the state of the dead when Lazarus died, and Jesus said to her in John 11, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. So we see that Jesus was telling the thief that it will seem so short a time. As a matter of fact, the thief was going to die that day, which would make the thief have no thoughts starting that day, till the resurrection that he would see Jesus coming in the clouds to take him to paradise, which would make it seem like the very same day. Also, Jesus tells Mary in John 20, after Jesus rose from the dead on Sunday, not to touch him, because he had not yet ascended to his father. So we know for certain that the thief on the cross did not go straight to paradise and be with Jesus in heaven when the thief died, because Jesus was still sleeping in the grave and could not have been with the thief in paradise that day. So we see that Jonah's idea of forever, according to how he perceived his great fish adventure, was a very short time. And Jesus saying today, according to how the thief would perceive today, is ending up to be a very long time. Jonah 2, 6. A royal blue 6 is drawn on the bottom of the right seaweed to remember verse 6.